In the name of historical accuracy, the Polish authorities have adopted a law that would criminalize the truth about that most sensitive of subjects for Poles, the Holocaust. Had the Polish authorities wished to prohibit the use of the expression Polish death camps as a historical falsehood that insults the dignity of the Polish nation, they could have done so very easily. They could have inserted the phrase Polish death camps into the text of the new law. But they didn't. And this was not an oversight on their part. The law was first drafted two years ago and the authors received considerable feedback indicating that it should be reframed with their purported aim explicitly enunciated. Had they done so, nobody would have given a hoot about the law. All objective and well-informed people know that the extermination camps on Polish territory were established and operated by the Germans. Instead, the goal of the legislation introduced by the ruling Law and Justice Party was much more ambitious than the Polish authorities admit. Its aim was to falsify the history of the Holocaust. The Polish authorities want to gag any debate about the complicity of many Poles in the persecution of their Jewish fellow citizens. They propose to do so by proscribing any mention of such complicity that is against the facts. And of course, they will be the ones who determine what the facts are. Under this law, virtually every Jewish survivor of the Holocaust from Poland would have to be prosecuted. I've read many hundreds of survivors' testimonies. I don't recall a single one where the Jew in question did not describe acts of betrayal, blackmail or denunciation by their Polish compatriots before finally finding a good person who helped them survive. The day after the Polish same passed the law to add insult to injury on the eve of International Holocaust Remembrance Day, the front pages of Israeli newspapers were flooded with testimonies by survivors and their family members. Jews felt threatened again, as Holocaust survivors' life stories made them targets of the Polish government.